What's up everybody? So today we're going to be dropping my 1982 Datsun pickup and I'll be showing you the tools that I used for it. So yeah, stay tuned and enjoy. Peace. All right, everybody. So these are the tools that I used to drop the truck. A size 14, a size 17, and a size 19. The half inch wrench, a 14 box wrench, channel lock, vice grip, and an eight inch adjustable wrench with the Milwaukee impact gun. I don't have to use this, but it's easier. It makes life easier. Peace. And uh, this is the pickup I'm gonna be dropping. I already switched to my rims a while back, but as you can see, there's a pretty good gap. Let me get a shot. Okay, so yeah, I don't mind the bed. That's in the bed. side shot. Alright anyways, back to it. So this is the gap I have on my truck. So I'm trying to get centered the center of the wheel to center of the wheel well. So I'm looking at about almost eight inches. This really doesn't matter. I'm just doing this for you guys to see how much a five inch drop is gonna be on the truck. Uh, it's going to be too much, maybe, but as you could see, the owner, before the one I bought it from, put an extra leaf, because on the leaf springs, you're only supposed to have one, two, and then three. They added this, I believe it's for loading, so it does give it a little bit higher uh, look. <laughs> My own bolts. Check see. Yep. See how small it is? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Got four of these. Take it out. This plate will come out. These bolts are gonna come out. And then I'll be able to take out that middle leaf spring. Woohoo! Ah, look at that. This is not good. See this uh pretty much maxed out on the ground so when I do loosen it up it might like push back but something I would recommend to do but since you guys are watching I'm gonna do it you guys can see what happens either something bad or nothing perfect so why you make the truck high and there's a bolt Take out the rest. I'm trying to tell myself just stop being lazy and lift it up at least like one or two more times. Are your U bolts? Watch how it goes. This little, uh, this little guy goes over the axle like so. But like I said, guys, I'm gonna try to take out these springs. WD-40 makes life so much easier. So you just you might not even need a lot. Every time I zap, this, this whole thing spins, 
it does not because it's the whole thread of it. If you want to see, I'll show you that. See it spinning? So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna get this channel off. I'm going to try to hold it. If I'm that strong, it's going to work. If not if I'm weak, I have to go vice versa. Okay, as you can see, <laughs> all the leaf springs are starting to come apart. See all that? Yeah. It'd be a little dangerous, but it's whatever. My thing is just taking off this one because it's an extra leaf. So I'm going to take this out. This one's going to go back on. I'll show you. But if you guys ever did want to do a drop block um, and then minusing a leaf, this would be the same way. But like how I'm taking out the extra leaf, you would be taking out the middle as well. Take out both. I don't like how when I drag this side up, that one tilts. So I'm gonna just do the other side as well. And this is just my way of doing it. I'm sure, there's a lot of other ways of doing it, but you guys can uh, figure out what works for you. Maybe there's someone else that got to another video. And it fell on my hand. Does it hurt? Maybe a little bit. Do I care? Not really. For you though, don't do that. I'm showing you what not. Anyways, I'm trying to do that. So what I'm gonna do is one at a time, y'all. Sweet. Sweet. I have to look Don't mind if it's shaky in the camera. I'm uh, putting it while I do this. basically I have like a four inch block I was really hoping to do a five inch but I guess it ain't gonna work so yeah this is basically it once I uh, put the washer and that's on all you gotta do is tighten it and put the shot back on and it's done and that's dropping the truck and then we gotta do the front as well
doesn't matter. I'm just doing this for you guys to see how. Now we're gonna look at the, uh, I mean, just from the center to the to, to two quarters. This is how it looks. It's not bad. But now, definitely gotta drop. Uh, gotta drop the front. So, yeah. Let's see, it's about five and a half almost. So yeah. See how much it's kind of dark. I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out, but this bar, pushing bar all the way to the back connects to this and to over here where you're uh, gonna loosen this bolt there's usually two nuts I think there's only one on the left but over here you can see two it's not too dark yeah it's all right anyways that's pretty much the gist of it so the way you do is you loosen the bolt up top and then uh, you're going to be loosening this um, to pretty much drop the truck. So I'm going to get started. So, uh, but the way to tighten it as you can see I don't know if you can see but the whole thread spins so I'm gonna hold this and then tighten the top bolt uh, top nut down and that's it hey guys thanks for watching if you made it this far don't forget to like and subscribe hope you guys enjoyed hope the video helped Long garage out peace